Hey, I'm Davey. Welcome to the Freak React Overview video. In the coming videos, I'll be showing countless ways to use Freak React to get the most out of your audio visualizers and motion graphics. But first, we're going to keep it simple. With a circle. A circle may seem like a boring place to start, but there's actually a hidden world of reacting waiting for us. We could react the scale. We could react the position. Or maybe the stroke thickness, the color, and the opacity. There's so many options, and that's only while using two of the reactor types. So enough preamble, let's begin. This is our audio layer, and this is how it sounds. We'll start by selecting it and creating a profile. In this example, we'll be reacting to the kick drum, so let's name the profile kick. If we wanted to create a profile that was only the duration of our current work area, we would select work area. However, in this case, we want to react the entire duration of our audio layer, so let's select full layer and hit create. We've now entered into the profile's spectrum view. This is where we'll select frequencies in the audio spectrum that will end up driving our reacting effects. It's worth taking a moment to explain exactly what an audio spectrum represents. An audio spectrum is nothing more than a graphical representation of sound. The x-axis displays the frequency in hertz from low to high, while the y-axis displays the amplitude or loudness of the frequency bands. The spectrum can be broken up into three main sections. Bass, mids, and treble. It's important to keep this in mind when you're trying to find sounds that you wish to react. Freak React has a selection of frequency presets so we can quickly find our sound. Let's change it back to bass, lower the frequency height, and hit play. Right away, it's very easy to see the bulk of the kick drum frequencies. Let's grab the range box and place it roughly over top. When placing the range box, we want to make sure we position it in a way that makes the preview bar go all the way up and all the way down. Certain reactors might not function properly if this bar isn't reaching the top. Most of the time, it's good to try to extend it as much as possible, but it can also be useful to squash it in certain situations. This looks good. Let's bake it. Now we're ready to react. As we've seen, just about any property inside of After Effects is reactable. As long as it has one of these, it can react. Let's select our profile, choose the scale property for our circle, and hit react. Freak React now prompts us to choose one of the eight reactor types. We'll start with pulse. The reactor is added to the effects pane on the layer where the property is located. For our scale reactor, if we turn up only the X intensity, we get a warped effect only on the X scale value. That's great, but we want it to be uniform, so let's match the X and Y intensities. Since we gave the intensity slider a positive value, it's adding to the original property value. If we give it a negative value, it will take away from the original value. Let's keep it positive. All right, this is getting close to how we want, but I think we can spruce it up a bit with mods. Each reactor has a unique set of mods, and some mods can only be found on certain reactors, such as the elasticity mod on the elastic reactor. We'll be doing a full rundown of each reactor and their accompanying mods in the next video. For now, let's just add some decay. The decay mod essentially cushions the pulse effect when it is returning to the base value. Very nice. Freak React also makes it really easy to stack reactors. Let's reselect the scale property and hit React once again. This time, let's check out the wiggle reactor. Let's turn it up. Go into the mods and crank the wiggle speed. So now we have a weird wiggly circle thing. This is kind of neat, but not exactly what we're going for, so let's delete this reactor. We can accomplish this by selecting the reactor, hitting delete, and then hitting refresh in the Freak React UI. Okay, so let's quickly add some more reactors. Let's throw a pulse on the stroke thickness. And you know, let's 
get a little fancy. Let's react to the color of the circle. The steps color reactor is extra special. Each time the snare hits, it will step into a new color, and we can choose how many steps to cycle through. For instance, if we select four steps, we can see it cycle between the first four colors. Let's keep it at two and set the colors to the signature Freak React green and purple. Dope. Okay, with that, I think we've covered the basics. The next video is all about the different reactors and what they're each good for. See you then.